My name is Farzana and I am a student of here, the University of Texas Arlington in Department of Psychology. And I am a student first year in Dr. Parati's lab. Today I will be presenting six difference in anxiety like behavior during withdrawal from morphine. Here is the overview of our poster. A lot of research has been conducted on opioid addiction and withdrawal has predominantly centered on males, leaving a significant gap in understanding the experience of female in this regard. The figure in the introduction that has been done in our lab previously to see how morphine withdrawal affect body weight and physical sign in rats for male and female. And the first figure in the introduction says rats gain weight up until morphine withdrawal in which both males and females and they experiencing withdrawal lost relative to control rats given saline. And figure two says morphine withdrawal also induce somatic markers, including wet dog checks and breathing, which are lasted longer in female than male. Also not seen in control rats given saline that are not experiencing withdrawal. For our study, we have thus that during withdrawal, an anxiety like behavior will be greater in female compared to males. To test the hypothesis, we conduct our own experiment and we use 29 long even rats. Rats are given morphine twice a day for 10 days with an escalating dose and the elevator plus maze was we used which uh, measured anxiety like behavior. Time spent and entries into the open and closed arm was recorded. Body weight is a marker for psychological health. Rats lose, lose weight during morphine withdrawal. Here is our elevator plasma setup. On the left is an example of the diagram uh, of what it looks like. And on the right is a picture of our elevator plasma that we used for our experiment. For the timeline of the experiment, rats acclimated to the facility for three to seven days. And for seven days, body weights were taken and levels was done. Following this was the 10 days of an escalating dose. Lastly, 20 hours after the last injection, rats went through the elevator plasmas for five minutes. Rest of the part will discuss my lab mate Davis. For the results, male and female rats that were given morphine lost body weight after withdrawal relative to staying rat treated rats. So this matches the preliminary data. For the elevated plasmase, rats that were given morphine with male and female rats spent less time in the open arms and entered the open arms less for morphine withdrawal. This shows that they were more anxious. However, presently, morphine treated rats, both male and female, entered the closed arms lab, but there was no change in the time spent in the closed arms during morphine withdrawal. Interestingly, female rats in the diastrophe phase of the estrus cycle spent more time in the open arms compared to male morphine treated rats. This shows that they were less anxious. Female proestrus phase rats that were given morphine spent less time in the open arms compared to male, treated, male morphine treated rats. And they also spent more time in the closed arms relative to male morphine treated rats. This shows that they were more anxious. For the discussion, rats that were treated with morphine displayed anxiety like behavior in the elevated plasmid. This is beneficial as an animal model of addiction. The next step is to investigate drugs to alleviate anxiety in this rodent model. In conclusion, the elevated plasma is a good measure of anxiety like behavior. It's important to investigate anxiety as it's reported as a symptom in human addicts as part of morphine withdrawal. Female rats' anxiety differs by stage of the estrus cycle, so it's important to consider sex and hormone levels with morphine withdrawal. Future research will investigate Western blot to investigate molecular mechanisms that may underlie anxiety like behavior in the elevator plasmids. More female rats are run for additional estrocycle data and ketamine is used to investigate treatment of anxiety like behavior. Thank you for listening to our presentation.